Mexican. Why is she an illegal immigrant because she's Mexican? Fuck you! Grand Central. So we don't get machines. Grand Central. Just trying to keep the area clear here, guys. Oh, they played out. That's my. I'm not saying what happened in this series. I'm not, I, I wasn't alive at that time. I'm not responsible for it. You don't run around with the brightest stars in the sky, do you? Obviously, I was not alive during that time, so I'm not responsible. Well, you're still here. You're still being your patriarchy is still affecting so many people. That's the problem. And the problem is that you don't fucking understand me. That's the problem. There, there, cannot, there cannot be lawlessness. There has to be some law. There has to be. Hold on, but I'm trying to speak. Don't give me your fingers. A lot of them with their families, guys. Thank you very much. We cannot have open borders. Thank you very much. We cannot have open borders where whoever wants to go. Where whoever they want. You guys can come here and kill a bunch of indigenous people to put your fucking back I didn't kill anybody. And neither did my parents. My parents came here from Cuba. Your actions My parents came here from Cuba. They came through Ellis Island, through the proper channels and became they, and they became citizens. Sir, it's not about it being legal. It's about that America is open to help. Hey guys, we're just trying to keep you're just being closed minded I am not against immigration or immigrants. Never was. My parents were immigrants. Against illegal immigrants is the same thing. It is legal and illegal immigration is not the same thing. Why does it matter if someone's not illegal? Why? Because you can't come here and just do as you please. You've got to follow yeah, the law. You guys came here. And you, you guys killed a bunch of people. Are you from, are you Mexican? Yes, I am. Okay, do you know what happened if I went to your country illegally? Nothing. Oh, no, you are completely wrong. You are completely wrong. There's a bunch of people. The woman who raised me for my 17 years of life is a... People are still exploiting Mexico, Mexican people here. And you're, you're not here about the Marine that was held in, in a Mexican jail for almost a year because he was there without papers. He made a wrong turn and he was still. Millions of people still living in Mexico who are illegal. Are you going to kill Mexico? Are you going to kill Mexico? Are you going to Mexicans to here to get free yes. and really cheap labor from them. So you're exploiting Mexicans and then being racist towards them. And then Let me stop you. Not you. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. And I said this is what Trump that he represents this whole like patriarchal like idea that we should like take Mexicans to exploit them and then treat them back. Why are you kidding? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Why the fuck am I here? Why are you fucking here? But I want to know what you have to do with it. You, you know, sir, I just want to ask you a simple question. I'm not yelling, I'm not cursing. I want to ask you a question. You should not be anybody else here until you take care of the Americans that are here legally. But if you weren't. By all means, legally. Come on. Yes, sir. 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 I will never say that that's right. You don't have the right to say who's American or not. The woman who raised me for 17 years was technically an illegal immigrant. And you don't have the right to say if she's American or not. The thing you and I can agree on is that, it's, that, that is wrong. That Mexicans were exploited, it is wrong. I agree with you. I, but at the same time, we cannot bring in people here, legally or illegally, until the Americans, the veterans. What about them? We need to take care of them. You are you, going you, to say that a bunch of Mexicans already live here. The border that had crossed them still made Mexicans live in this place. There's still a bunch of like generations of Chicago living here. People. Like the thing is that they're racially profiling a bunch of people because there's been so many cases of people in Chicago who are illegally here trying to be deported. That's the problem. There's a situation with a bunch of people. I, can I please ask you a question? Before when you said the patriarchy has been defunct, you mean that America is no longer a patriarch?
by by patriarchy do you mean a place where women are oppressed? And, all right, I'll tell you right now. In this country, women have more rights in this country than men do. And but wait, you asked me a question. Let me answer. If you really want to fight a patriarchy, you really want to fight for feminism, you need to go to like the Middle East because they need you here. They need you. But at the same time, my two best friends have been raped, and every day when I walk into school, I'm strangled because men want to tell me when my body is. They want to tell me it's not a right. Well, I'm not their only friend. I'm not their only friend. But how do we not live in patriarchy? And I'm going to tell you a lot of women who are Afraid of anybody or anything, and I'll tell you why. It must be my fault. Be because, because she knows, she knows how to defend herself. She can defend herself. Okay, because I don't know how to defend myself and I'm raped. That's my fault. God forbid, God forbid that ever happens to you. No, and I did not say that. You're putting words so in my mouth. I didn't say that. So explain it. It's, it's, it's called preventive measures. Prevent so if I walk down the street just like a slut or a whore? I didn't, I, you're no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not, not saying you said that. Let's you're say sure. what people call slutty and whore outfit. If I walk down the street like that, I'm kind of saying that my body doesn't matter and that. So then, so is it okay if someone rapes me then? No, it, listen, so rape there's no is such, never okay. So there's we no can such, agree on there's that. There's no such thing as preventative measures. You, you, are, you are coming from a place, I feel. You are coming from a place where if you live right now in a big victim picture, like, I, I, I feel, you said your friends are raped, I feel bad, and that's a terrible thing. Did it happen to you? I also have a friend that was raped. I don't cry about it. What did you say? I also have a friend that was raped. And you don't cry about it? I feel bad for you. Oh, I'm so know. sorry. As a man, you don't feel bad for you. Don't know what it's like. You don't know what it's like. Well, I'm. I cry about everything to begin with, and um, I just I've had so many people who are really close to me been raped. And at the school we go to, we now have a dress code, and like for my friends who've been raped, little things like dressing themselves help get control of their bodies again. And men like that. I'm not saying all men because that's a really broad statement, but men and also women like that who say they're preventative measures are just influence and rape of culture, and like it's not okay and it never will be. And he doesn't have the right to say, oh, I don't feel, I don't cry about it. Like I don't really care if you cry about it. And it just is really frustrating to be told we don't live in a patriarchy.